Hello there and welcome to the C++ basic tutorial presented to you by the Code Brewery. I Ridesh Sada is here to help you in the course. In this topic we will learn about C++ arrays, what are arrays, types of arrays and let's we will get started with it. Please do like, subscribe, comment and share with your fellow mates. As you know it just costs a tap to you and means well to us and please do let's get started. C++ provides a data structure, the array which stores a fixed size sequential collection of elements of the same type. An array is used to store a collection of data but it is often more useful to think of an array as a collection of variables of same type. That is the type which must be same of all the variables which will be stored in array. Now if we see that why we should be, use, why we should be using arrays. If you have to store at least 100 values, then you will, what would you write? Value 0, value 1, value 99 and like this and you will get tired and it will take a lot of time to you. But it will be very fast and easy if you use arrays as you have to just write one value and you have to first declare it as a 100 size array and then you can use the different index values to either put value into that variable or take value from that variable a specific element is assessed by using an index if you the numbers which you are seeing in the brackets is known as index all areas consist of contiguous memory locations the lowest address corresponds to first element and highest address corresponds to the last element the lowest address would be of 0 and highest would be of n minus 1 and n is that uh, maximum index uh, size which you have put in the declaration of arrays if we see about declaration of arrays to declare an array in C++ the programmer specifies the type of elements and the number of elements required by an array as follow now in general form we write the type which is which will be a basic type array name and inside brackets we write the array size or also called as uh, the index size the array size must be an integer constant greater than 0 and the type can be any valid C++ data type it should be greater than 0 since we start we in C++ or in any programming language we start from 0 we take uh, first element to be at point uh, 0 so, hence we have to take it greater than 0 uh, example we can say is double balance in brackets we write 10 and it will show 10 values starting from balance 0 to balance 9 now on coming on to the, the on the next section initializing of arrays you can initialize c++ array elements either one by one or using a single statement as follows we can write it as a double balance 5 it will take 5 elements which we have which we are initializing as 1000 comma 2.0 comma 3.4 comma 17.0 comma 50.0 and if you can see as index we have put uh, we have put that z z at zero at the element is 1000 at one first element it's two second 3.4 third 17.0 fourth 15.0 now if you omit the size of an array and array is just big enough to hold the initialization it can, it's created with. Now if you don't put the index size and you put the elements it will take the as size as the number of elements which you have declared with it. Now accessing it from an array is an easy process just you have to remember that you have the elements start from 0th place. So you have to put n minus 1 if you want to take the fourth element out you have to put index size as 3. An element is accessed by indexing the array name this is done by placing the index of the element within its square brackets after the name of the array. Example we have taken as double salary equal to balance 9. Now it will assign the 10th value in balance array as balance 9 to the salary. The two most important things in C++ are arrays and class. So first comes arrays and we'll learn about that. Arrays are important to C++ and should need lots, lots of more detail. Now 
its concepts are different types its multi there are multi multi dimensional arrays pointer to an array passing array to functions and lastly we have return array from functions these are all very different kind of concepts and should be given a thorough study if you want to become great in C++ since this is a basics only we will not give much emphasis on them but we will learn about we will learn briefly about all of them first if we see about multidimensional arrays C++ supports multidimensional arrays the simplest form of the multidimensional array is the 2D array we just simply write two brackets after and we specify the index size of them pointer to an array you can generate a pointer to the first element of an array by simply specifying the array name without any index we'll run about some in pointers section also passing array to function you can pass to the function a pointer to an array by specifying the array's name without an index return array from function c++ allows a function to return an array now we'll now these are some of the more advanced topics so these don't don't come in the in the bound of the c++ basic tutorial so we just study them in some of the future videos which might i make so that was the wrap for the topic i do hope you understood the topic well please do like comment share and subscribe and ask your friends to please subscribe it if you didn't understand any topic please kindly revert to me through comments and i will revert to you back so let's meet in the next video.